What's going on everybody? I hope y'all been having a wonderful day and if you haven't, I hope this video can make your day just a little bit better. If not, oh well, you gotta, I don't know, watch another video. <laughs> okay, so this video is going to be basically discussing the application aspects of quadratic functions. It sounds boring, don't click off the video yet. It's math, sure it is. Math is not boring. Trust me, this is going to be sweet. I'm going to demonstrate to you how it actually works. With a ball, if you were to throw a ball from any height, but I'm going to start off with the ground and build my way up to if you were to be off like 10 feet, 20 feet, any amount of feet. And you can calculate it. It's not hard. This is pretty easy math if you just understand a little bit of algebra. And I'll show you how to understand it. So, let's get right into this. We are going to understand we have a plane. This is ground level. This is zero. So you're going to start here at a point on ground. And then it is going to go in that shape. If you were to throw a ball through the air in any way, any speed, it's going to go in that shape. So there's, this is very unique. This is awesome. You can use this in order to graph other things with quadratic functions. This is the shape of them. It, that's anything with a quadratic term, a linear term, and a constant. It's this. Ax squared plus bx plus c. Don't get discouraged. This isn't difficult. And you'll understand it in a minute. Okay. There's a point right here at the high it's gonna be the highest point the ball reaches. And then it's gonna fall back down because of gravity. Gravity falls at thirty-two feet per second squared. Okay. There's a function that you can use in order to calculate where this vertex is going to be and there's also a way that you would put it in to this term and you're going to understand this real quick now because look at this this is second squared with a coefficient right here it's x squared coefficient with x squared this is the coefficient so this is the same thing as that, but it's going down. There's an equation we have to use. It's one half of g plus, well g, gx squared plus v of ot plus h of ot. Still, don't get discouraged, this ain't hard, this ain't hard. I'm just showing you the bait, like these are to build up to it. Okay. Let me move this a little bit. There we go. Alright. So, we're going to move on to actually understanding this more. This is going to give you guys more of an opening to this. Since this is squared, we already went over that. We, can, we have to do one half. Well, we have to do negative one half. Of that because it's falling it's going down it's not going up we're gonna have our equation set the height it's gonna be increasing when it's positive and decreasing when it's negative so it have to be negative one half of G to the X squared so then that's gonna be negative 16 we're gonna put the variable as time T squared not we're just gonna do that it's the same thing as X squared so variable but we're, we're making that variable t as time. We're going to set that equal to the function of height to t. Because this is going to equal the height at which you're going to be at. This is going to be the time. This is the function. This is what's over here, the, the other variable. That's what you're going to be trying to find. So, we got that. Now we need a velocity at which we're going to go at. Let's just say we, we were sent, sending a ball at 80 feet per second. 
let's just say that. So plus 80 feet per, we're just going to do plus 80. I don't know why I'm doing that. Plus 80 X. It's the same thing. Plus 80 feet per second is the same thing as saying plus 80 X. Because negative 16 T squared is the same thing as 16 feet squared falling down, which is negative. So that's why that's that. It might sound confusing, but it's just going to be cool. If you ha You're going to understand a lot after this. So then we're not we're starting at ground zero, so we wouldn't add nothing. So that would just be a constant, which is the height, because it goes up to the y afterwards. Okay. So now we got all this going. We can find this. This is a parabola. It's squared. It's this shape right here. It's a U looking shape. Or it could be going this way, but that's not the case right now because it's going in that direction. So, we can use a f formula that's negative B over 2A. And, th and it's this context right here. Negative B, so the coefficient in front of the linear term, which is this. This is the linear term. And the coefficient in front of the quadratic term, which is this. That's the quadratic term. So negative b over 2a, we would do negative 80, the opposite of 80, over 2 times negative 16, which is negative 32. So now we got to do that. These, these negatives will cancel because a negative divided by a negative is positive. I'm going to get my calculator because I don't even... I can't do that in my head right now. Don't worry about it. This will be fast. I'm going to type it in. 80 divided by 32. 2.5. It's 2.5. That's going to be the x coordinate. Because that we just saw, simplified to find what x equals by doing negative b over 2a. Because it's the same variable. It's a lot of simple algebra that you got to understand in order to understand the actual concepts behind it. It's too, too long to explain. But you're about to be amazed. This right here is the seconds that it took reach the vertex which is the highest point so it takes 2.5 seconds to hit the highest point if you're to throw a ball at 80 feet per second now if we were to plug this in for this equation for the t i'm going to do that we're going to do 2.5 stored at x and then we're going to do negative 16 x squared plus 80x, which is 100. This is going to be the y, which was the height per time. So this is the height, the maximum height, which is 100 feet. So if you were to throw a ball 80 feet per second into the air, it would take 2.5 seconds for it to reach its maximum height of 100 feet. That's basic concepts of a parabola and throwing something. We'll move on to more complex things later on. I just wanted to give you an introduction to this. There's a lot more to it, a lot more you can understand. But this is just pretty cool. I mean, like, we could double this because it's going to take the same amount of time to get to here to get to here. From here to here, from here to here, is the same from here to here. It's the same level, going the same distance with the same gravity pushing on it. Same speed, nothing's interfering with it. Object in motion stays in motion. That's a little bit of physics, but you can use the math in order to figure that out, and it's sweet. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. You're going to learn a lot more, and it's going to be way cooler soon. Peace.